Well, hey heidi ho there, everybody. This is Ambient Girl Digs. I want you to make sure you go out and check out my buddy, Mike Lyman, M.A. Lyman 24. He's got a great YouTube channel. No, he don't. Yeah, he does. And he's got a Facebook page. And, uh, yeah, he does metal detecting. Not really. Okay, yeah, he does. And then he does some gold panning and coin roll hunting. I think he finds silvers. Uh, he's on Saturday nights at 7.30 live, Eastern Standard Time. He does, he, uh, you can buy some rolls if you want. He's all right to watch. He's okay, but. Hey, folks, it's grilling time. I got some boneless, skinless thighs. I'm going to try one with a... Uh, my aunt's concoction of seasonings. You got a tablespoon of salt, tablespoon of pepper, tablespoon of cumin, tablespoon of brown sugar, tablespoon of smoked paprika, and a tablespoon of dry mustard. And then the other two I'm going to use. Another one I'm going to use the Grill Mates Montreal chicken seasoning. And the other one I'm going to use the Grill Mates Mesquite barbecue. I'll let you know which one I like the best. Alright. Let me get these loaded up in the pan here. Got to get some Pam out, and uh, we'll get busy. Real quick, I use Pam grilling. Awesome stuff, high heat. Spray a little in the bottom of the pan, put the stuff in there, do the sprinkle, sprinkle, turn it over, sprinkle, sprinkle. Take it outside, put it on the grill for seven minutes on low. Come out after seven, eight minutes, turn it over. Come back in, set the timer for another seven minutes, and then uh, after that, it's done. All right, get back to you in a minute. All right, here we go. Get the first one in the pan. I'm gonna go with my aunt's stuff, equal proportions. Put that on there. All right. Next one is the uh, Grill Mates uh, Mesquite Barbecue. Put that on there. Next one is the uh, Grill Mates Montreal Chicken Seasoning. Put that one on this one. Right, we turn these over. Put the same stuff on this side. All right, I'm going to switch out my glove. Get right back to you. Alright, got them seasoned up on both sides. Let's go get these beautiful uh, boneless, skinless thighs on the grill so I can get to judging. I'm hungry. It's after noon time already. All right, seven minutes each side. I'll get back to you. Oh, yeah, she's on. Got her on low. Oh, I can smell this stuff already. All right, let's go inside and set the timer. Seven minutes. Come back. All right, folks. Here I'm sizzling. I'm at the seven minute mark. Get these bad boys turned over. I right, got the timer inside set for eight before I came out here. Oh, yeah. I can smell them all already. Chicken seasonings, barbecue seasonings, and my aunt's seasoning concoction. It's really good. I have it on steak too. It's good on everything. Fish. Give it a try, folks. Go back in the video and check out the ingredients. Equal tablespoon or two tablespoons of everything. All right, get back to you in seven minutes. We'll pull these bad boys. All right, folks. Spend seven minutes each side. Let's cut these bad boys in half and see what they look like. I'll get right back to you. Now I've got four arms. All right, not bad. I'm give them about another four minutes. And we'll, we'll close the lid down. We'll come back. All right. All right. Let's uh. on the grill and bring that stuff in and eat get that 
shut off. Mm, looks good now. Delicious. All right, I'll get back to you once we get inside. Alrighty, folks, here we go. This is my aunt's seasoning. I'll do hers first. Mmm, tasty. Let's do the barbecue next. Mystique. Mmm. That's pretty good, too. It's got a little more after flavor. This one is really good though too. Well, let's try the uh, chicken seasoning. Mmm. What well, tastes like the old Italian seasonings, breadcrumbs and stuff. Mmm, -mm, good. All right. They're all very delicious and moist. I like the Mystique one just a little bit better. The Grill Masters. That's the winner. Real Masters Mystique on your chicken. Give it a try. I'll give my aunt's concoction a two and then the chicken seasoning a three. But they're very close. It's like a 99, 98, 97. But they're all almost a hundred. You know what I'm saying? All delicious. Give them all a try. Why not, right? All right. I'm going to sketch on the next. Hold on. Oh well. Enough said, I think. That was delicious. All of them were good. After I'd finished them, I think my aunt's concoction was actually the best. Mystique was second, and then it, uh, the chicken seasoning was third. All very delicious, though. I suggest them all. Mm, can't wait to try that meal again. That was awesome. It's rolling a race, so I uh, straightened them out. Look down the ground. And so, hey, sweet darling. There they go across the street now. I don't even have to move. There goes the first one. And there goes two behind them. Three doe maybe. I got it zoomed in so it ain't looking good. I'll have to zoom it out to make it look any better. And there they go up into the woods. All three of them. It's like what the hell is that guy doing? That was cool. All right, later. Hey there, folks. Just a quick FYI on these new Royal Treasure scratch tickets. Be very careful. Very careful. I was reading on the back here that, you know, the win symbol with the money, pile of money, the 2X, 5X, 10X, and the gems, I assumed, would have been up top where the numbers were, and there would have been a prize below. But I scratched all the numbers, and I didn't match any, so I was going to get ready to throw this ticket away. Until I scratched the dollar amounts for a ha ha. When I got to the top, I saw a gem. If I didn't scratch these dollar amounts, I wouldn't have known that this was a $20 winner. Thought for sure that gem would have been up there where the 35 was instead. Just like all the 2Xs and 5Xs and everything would have been. So be careful, folks. At the stop and shop, just walking across, got back to my car, looked down on the ground, see something gold. I'm looking at it, I think it's just junk though. I ain't got my glasses on. Don't know what it was part of, but I thought it was pretty cool. That gold shine caught my eye. All right, later. All right, folks, sorry that's all the time we have for today, but make sure you tune in next week, and we'll see what's going on then. I think I'm going to be doing some cooking. Oh, wait, no, that was this video. I don't know. Tune in next week. We'll see you then. Until then, be good, be safe, have some fun. We'll see you later.